happy actually that you care so much about plants because the fact of the matter is because you care about plants more reason for you to go vegan hello jade here from bad vegan woman my goodness i'm actually super excited okay this has never happened and i'm on your small channel so it's just unbelievable a couple of months ago more than a couple of months ago because i've been traveling for seven months i made a video in adelaide um, a gentleman by the name of shane irvine he organized for every state in australia to do a human meat activism and i took the footage in the day and i did some street activism as well and i put a video together anyhow it's hit over 1 million views like my goodness like i me have a viral video it's crazy and it just went out of control over the last couple of weeks like i'm looking i'm like going oh my god oh my god i saw it creeping up i just didn't think it was going to creep up like this but it has it's gone completely out of control and I've been inundated with comments like you wouldn't believe. And for me, as I said, a small channel, I'm not really used to getting this many comments. And I'm getting a lot of hate comments on there. And I'm getting a lot of crazy reasons why we shouldn't be vegan. So I'm going to put a few videos together on some of the responses that I've been getting. But here's the number one thing that people keep saying over and over and over. But plants have feelings too. I've got one thing to say to you. Are you fair dinkum? Like seriously, that is like the craziest thing. Well, they don't know. been a meat eater and for me that would be not even a thought process that would have ever ever gone through my head that plants have feelings it's absolutely ridiculous but let's address this issue okay plants have feelings it isn't the first time I've ever heard this I've actually even heard it from a girlfriend and I just think okay yet you cut roses and put them in a vase in your house but you're not going to become vegan because plants have feelings. Okay, firstly, the plant issue. Let's start addressing it. Okay, to get 100 calories of chicken, and that'd be about the size, of the palm of your hand, and that's what the dietary recommendation is for a woman of my age. So for me to eat my 100 grams of chi uh, 100 calories of chicken at my lunch or for my dinner. It takes 900 calories of plants to feed that chicken. So for me to not eat meat, I'm saving 900 calories worth of plants, so I'm saving your plants. But let's go further than that. And I'm really happy, actually, that you care so much about plants because the fact of the matter is because you care about plants, more reason for you to go vegan. Did you know that a third of the world's land is actually used for animal agriculture. And it goes even further than that. The destruction of the Amazon forest is actually because of animal agriculture. In fact, 91% of it. So why would you want to eat meat if you care so much about the feelings of the plants? You also know that one to two acres of rainforests are cleared every second. And the leading cause of this is actually because of animal agriculture. So it's more reason, again, for you not to actually eat animals. But let's go even further than that because you seem to really care about plants. Do you mow your lawn? Because when you're mowing your lawn, you're causing destruction to plants. Do you buy your girlfriend's flowers? Yet again, more destruction to plants. Do you eat vegetables? Yet again, more destruction to plants. Over and over and over, you're using plants. But you are using so much plants because you eat meat. 
So here's my suggestions for you. Ultimately, go vegan and eat plants. But if your fear of hurting the plants goes further than that, I would suggest you should start eating rocks. Unless rocks have feelings too, I'm not sure. But we know for certain that plants don't have a central nervous system, whereas animals do. Plants are an unsentient being and animals are sentient, sentient beings. So I guess you've got to make your choice. I'm going to leave this last question for you and I guess it's up to you to answer it yourself and think about what your answer is. I'm going to give you two different things for you to make a decision on which ones you are going to smash with a hammer. So I'm going to give you a dog and I'm also going to give you a bag of cucumbers. Now you can make the decision who you want to smash up. Now let me assure you the dog is going to flinch. The dog is going to hollow back. The dog is going to be full of fear. You're going to see the dog's fear and his eyes. The cucumbers are going to be dormant. They are going to just sit there. They are not going to try and defend it themselves. They're not going to cower. They're not going to do anything. They're just going to sit, stand there and you can get your hammer and smash them. And all they're going to do is go into a million pieces. So yet again, the choice is yours. Plants don't have feelings, you idiots. Thank you so much for all the comments so that you've left on my video you've helped it go viral so keep leaving comments on there it's fantastic and not to mention when you're leaving comments on my video which is super super awesome it's going into the news feed and I've had many people on there tell me they're going vegan thanks to that video it's wonderful life is so much better vegan this is the end of my video thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel leave a comment below, give us a thumbs up, and most importantly, love life, live free, and be vegan. Bye for now.